mention in the lectures that because of Paul's extensive traveling, he didn't have the luxury of being an armchair theologian. What exactly did you mean by this? And, you know, more specifically to our uh, situations today, you know, why would you go to a seminary which seems to be much more academic than the daily grind of ministry? I think by armchair theologian, or Paul not being an armchair theologian, I meant simply that as learned as he was, he didn't write his theology just sitting up in some ivory tower just spinning out thoughts. I think, what do I think the world needs to hear from my brilliance of mind? He wrote his theology as answers to people's really pressing questions. I think there was an architecture of thought underneath it, but his main interest was not so much in expressing his brilliance, but in meeting people at their, at their particular point of need. Now, you know, is it okay to go to um, an academic seminary to learn his theology so that we can apply it? And are you necessarily therefore gonna, you know, become an ivory tower, or, you know, aloof snob uh, who's unacquainted with people's griefs? Not, not necessarily. The, I, I've known people who, I've known people in the academic world who really care about the people around them and see the whole gift of being able to, to read and to have the time to reflect as being the occasion so that they can have relationships with the people around them. And they see the, the academic place as being a place of ministry, like I think Paul would have. I've also seen, and honestly, I've, I've been there myself, uh, where people, and me too, have been totally immersed in the reality of life, like working on an assembly line or, you know, or, or something like that, where you're surrounded by people, and yet you, you can live in this little bubble where it's only you and your task, and you totally ignore the people around you. And just because you're quote-unquote engaged in real life, you aren't necessarily engaged in real life. So, you know, it's, it doesn't, it's not so much a matter of where you are, it's who you are, wherever you are. And the, a person that gets on the wave band of the Jesus who incarnates God's love for us, and on the wave band of the Paul who says to his followers, followers imitate me as I imitate Christ. You can live in a kind of world where you have the leisure to study and read and write and reflect, but not be abstracted from real life because you are caring for the people that you're around. You're reading for them as much as for yourself.